you know, I'm going in there to be honest. I'm not, I don't want to lose. I mean, I'm going in there to win. How disappointed will you be if you don't win this show? I'll be devastated. <laughs> Welcome back to Desktop Bodybuilding. I'm Xavier Wills, and today I'm joined by 212 Pros competing at this weekend's Chicago Pro. It's actually going to be held in Atlanta. He's up against a very good lineup. I'm pleased to welcome Austin Carr to Desktop Bodybuilding. Mate, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm thankful to be here on the channel. Appreciate and it. I, uh, I discussed you today. I talked with my friend right. Ryan Bailey on the weekly bodybuilding breakdown, and we discussed your name, and I'd seen a photo of your front double bicep, and I went, wow. And I'd actually heard of your name before as well. I'd heard of you okay. competing last year, but it was one of those things where I'd only maybe seen you briefly once. And it's one of those things where you remember the name, but you forget the physique. And I saw you today and you've, you must've made improvements. Cause I feel like I would have remembered you even more. So oh, yeah. had you looked exactly the same as you looked in these photos. So I'm actually yeah. going to go to them and share my screen as well, just so people can see exactly how awesome. you're looking as well. But um, how's the prep been? Uh, what's right. been going on and where are you right now? Uh, we're, Two days out, it's Wednesday, and then the show's Friday. But um, this prep was long. It was a long prep. Uh, lot, the whole year was kind of set back with COVID, and shows were getting canceled. And we were set to do uh, New Zealand Pro in March, and that show got canceled, obviously. And then um, we also did, uh, we were going to shoot for Indie Pro in May and New York Pro, and those both of those shows got canceled. So it yeah. was like kind of dieting going back to a little off season dieting and then jumping back and then New York pro, or I'm sorry, Tampa pro ended up going. Um, Cause they, uh, I guess they allowed the audience and everything. And uh, I was just, wasn't ready for that show. You know, I was, yep. hard, I was getting good, but I, I definitely couldn't have jumped in that. Um, there was a lot of good guys with George Peterson. Um, he's a teammate. He, he won that show. And I don't think I would have been ready to be on that stage at that time. But then uh, we stayed on the diet and we step, uh, we kept training hard. And this show was obviously the last show of the year. So we got to jump in it. Yep. So when did the prep start exactly? I've been, I've been dieting since January. Um, wow. Not like a strict, you know, six to four week out diet, but constant, you know, diet food, not a lot of cheat meals. And I kind of lived the lifestyle to be honest. You know, I, I, I love this stuff. I mean, it's, it's what I love to do. So I don't deviate too much from my diet and go off, you know, high in scale weight, you know? Absolutely. So I pretty much kept it tight all year. Yeah. And we're looking at this photo of you now on the front double bicep and it's just such an impressive shot. Like the waist just comes oh, yeah. super tiny. And I was seeing this a little bit yeah. more now in the two twelves as well, where the guys are actually having better shapes. Cause it used to be more the, the more the blocky as much muscles possible on that short mm -hmm. physique. And now we're seeing these smaller waists in the 212. And I don't know if it's influenced by the classic physique or what it's influenced by, but I'm loving seeing it. I'm loving your physique as well, man, because you're small Thank you. Waist, you're small waist, you're big arms. You're really not right. anything right now. Do you have anything on your physique that you think you need to work on at all? Um, there's always something, you know, you need to bring up. But, you know, when I talk to my coach, uh, Justin Miller, we, uh, we feel like at my height, almost, I'm barely tipping five, nine, you know, I, I think I could put on a lot more, um, upper size on my upper body to match the legs. And, um, that's definitely a goal for us when we, you know, keep, keep working together. So, and I, and I spoke with, uh, muscular development as well. I definitely want to do two twelve, and see, you know, how we do with this show and, you know, hopefully make it to the Olympia, but eventually I I'm jumping in the open. Um, this awesome. is just, yeah, I really do. I mean, uh, if you see me in person, yeah, I'm an open guy. I mean, I'm taller, I'm wide, and I have the uh, frame to put on that mass. So that's definitely um, my passion to go to the open. Um, but I love the 212. I think 212 is like, it's a great class. You know, it's, it's just I don't see myself maximizing my potential staying in 212 eventually. Absolutely. And I actually mentioned it today um, to yeah. recording the weekly bodybuilding breakdown that it's great in shows that 
that when there is a good 212 class and there's a good open class, it's almost like you're getting two bodybuilding shows for the price of one. And I absolutely love right. that. So I'm a big fan yeah. of the 212 class because the conditioning is normally right. great. And it's really like we, we used to see pro shows in the 212 where it was, you would see, you know, one to two good guys in a lineup. And sometimes you'd see guys where it's a really, yeah. it's an empty lineup and some guys will qualify oh, yeah. that are going to be almost guaranteed to be one of those last places. So I love seeing them. Right. Of lineups here now you're five foot eight uh 215 pounds in these photos here i don't know if you can see them on the screen but that's that's pretty damn impressive i mean how much yeah are you down i suppose in weight from these photos or are, you, or are you sitting around the same i'm like 212 right on the dot i mean perfect you know once we you know do some manipulations I, i'll definitely make the i'll make weight you know it's it's uh it, it, for me it's not making the um not being the biggest it's just being the hardest and driest on stage um, that's my goal for this, for this show. I'm not really worried about coming in the biggest, you know, I just want to be the driest. That's, that's conditioning. I always talk about through all my interviews is conditioning is key for me. Absolutely. That's when shows. Yeah, for sure. And that's, so, uh, that's definitely a good key to go by as well, because you see some right. guys maybe try to play the size game or whatever, and you re really don't need to do yeah. that in the 212s because you are, like you said, at the exact weight right now. Now, we mentioned right. you're going against guys like Keon Pearson. There's, uh, I can't remember his name exactly, the guy from Kuwait. He won a pro show last year. So it's people are yeah. talking about this show like it's Keon Pearson's show at the minute because right. he, his name, he's the most got yeah. most notoriety he's you know done very well in classic physique and this is his right. pro, um debut at the 212 um in chicago or not in chicago in atlanta but at the chicago pro now how do you think i suppose are you going to be show thinking okay he's the standard or are you going into this thinking i can win it you know i always like because the funny thing is is we're both uh sponsored athletes by team h hd muscle which is uh owned okay. by dorian hamilton so yeah. we're both teammates um on the same company so I'm not really um, going in there as like a rivalry or, you know, as a threat because we've never competed together. So I don't really have any, you know, ties to him as far as being on stage. And he's jumping from classic to 212. Um, and eventually my goal is from 212 to open. So I think it's going to be really fun going against him. Um, he's got some great shots um, and I got a good front double. He has a great front double, but um you know, I'm going in there, to be honest, I'm not, I don't want to lose. I mean, I'm going in there to win and to be the hardest and driest on stage. And that's, um, I think that's going to be pretty hard to beat. So I know he's got his strengths and um, he looks great and I wish him the best. And I, you know, I just, our mindset is we want to make this Olympia because it's the last qualification of the year. And then once we, um, if you don't win this show, you can't make the Olympia if you haven't competed this year. Exactly. So and, it's like, <laughs> it's and, like all or nothing, you know? Yeah. And people are talking about where will Keon place at the Olympia and stuff like that in the 212s. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's not a done deal yet. And I've even done it myself now. Yeah. I've been it saying, oh, yeah, Keon will probably win Chicago, not knowing who's actually going to be doing it weeks out. And now I know you're doing it. Now I know um, right. Wade's doing it. There's a few other yeah. competitors too. It's like, there's only going to be one of those yeah. guys that are going to the Olympia. So, I mean, how disappointed will you be if you don't win this show? I'll be devastated. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I think more because honestly, I've been prepping all year and it's like, I know I could have done more shows if to maybe qualify for the Olympia. So it's like, you know, I know this is the last shebang for the year, but you know, I, I really don't see, I'm not thinking about getting second or third or whatever, but it, you know, if that happens, I think um, it's, it would be a good opportunity to use this, you know, rebound to go back and, to put on a lot more size. And if I, if that happens, I really don't see myself going back to 212. If I, you know, do a, a long off season, I don't see myself sucking back down to go to 212. So it might be a good thing in a way, but you know, we want to make that Olympia. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, I'm, an, oh, I'm wow. a promoter out there. So it's in my hometown. I mean, I promote shows. Uh, people know me out there. It's like, that's my stomping ground. It's like, when Jay Cutler moved to Vegas and he was the, uh, the hometown boy. So I, I definitely want to make the Olympias cause I, I takes me five minutes to get to the strip. So. Oh, that's amazing. I, yeah. I love Vegas, man. I've been once and I went to the Olympia and I was just, I just want to get back there. But oh, yeah. being in Australia now, we can't probably leave the country to like <laughs> for a fair while. I saw that. Time, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I saw like uh, Josh and a couple other guys. They, they're not even really competing. They can't even do anything. It's, nah. it's horrible. 
Yeah, but my good friend oh. Aaron Pilates, he's a 212 pro. He came ninth. Yeah, I've seen him. He, um, yeah, I was talking to him and he said, yeah, it sucks seeing these shows where you could potentially win them. <laughs> and he's just oh. like sitting back having to watch them and he's like, don't even know when yeah. he can. So it's been pretty hard, obviously, for a lot of people in a lot of ways. Right. You focus on um, finances and your businesses and stuff because, you know, bodybuilding takes it's a lot of work to put, you know, time into this and you could probably use that financially and make some money and stuff, you know, so exactly. it's probably a good a downtime for some people. For sure. Now, mm -hmm. regardless of if you make the Olympia or not this right. year of the 212s, will you, this be your last year in the 212s? Or if you miss the Olympia, will yeah. you then go and do the 212s again in 2021? Right. You know, that's a good question because I, I was talking to my coach and I said, well, if we make Olympia and we can get in the top five at the Olympia, what do we do? You know, because you're right there. You know, you're, you're right there at the, the F, you know, the highest level of uh, our, our sport. So I think for me, it's just organically is how much are we going to grow and then keep, if we can, if, if I can squeeze in 212 easily, and then I will stay in 212. Yeah. But like, if I'm up to 235, you know, getting peeled, there's no way I'm going to make 212, you know? Yeah. So I think it just depends on um, how well my body's responding, but I definitely, if I got to top five in Olympia, I would love to keep doing 212 until I grow out of that class. Yep. Do yeah. you feel like you've held yourself back at all this prep or do you feel like you're just, okay, it's working out that I'm exactly 212, that's fine. Or have you held yeah. yourself back with weight? It's pretty hard. Um, it's pretty hard. I mean, I'm waking up like, oh man, I, you know, I, I'm like right at the top of the scale. Um, and that's funny because the last show I did at Tampa, I was only two, 205 or something, but I put on so much more uh, upper body size. So it's definitely, uh, it's harder to make the weight now. Um, I got to really be careful how I carb up because if I don't watch myself, I can get up to 220, you know, the night and then have to drop eight pounds for the weigh-ins. So I got to really be careful how I manipulate my, uh, you know, my carb load and stuff. So it's not as easy as it was last year. I, I'll tell you that. Yeah, for sure. Well, man, I can't mm -hmm. wait to see you up on that Chicago Pro stage. I'm going to be obviously oh, man. And hoping that you get that Olympia qualification. I mean, I'm hoping that all, right. all the guys do, but it's only going to be one of you guys, unfortunately. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to see how you do, man. So best of luck Thank at that you. 2020 Chicago Pro. We'll all be watching and I'll be covering the show over the weekend. Awesome. So anyone out there that's um, watching this and listening, um, make sure that you do subscribe to this channel, Desktop Bodybuilding, and also hit the notification bell button and you'll have all your videos of the pre-judging, all that sort of stuff going up on the channel. So that's it for myself, Xavier Wills, and Austin Carr for Desktop Bodybuilding. We are out.